Nothing to be done? No, nah, there's a lot to be done. We we'll need to cut this dune, chop it into logs, get the fire going in the boothy. Afraid not, Archie. It's still crawling with beetles. We can't afford to risk cross-contamination. So what are we going to do? Let the beetles kill every tree in the park? No, no. I've asked for specialist help. A tree surgeon, no less. Ah! <laughs> Dr Livingston, I presume. What? Stanley and Livingston? Hello, Mr Livingston. Yeah, uh, no, no, it was an attempt at levity. Do you want to attempt an explanation? Oh, right, well. We have been told we have a pretty nasty case of infestation caused by a type of beetle which drains the tree of its sap, causing its premature death. Cicidla rapunda. Vicious at the best of times. Male pheromone, the females can't resist it. Treat this whole tree ASAP, there's a good chance you'll save it. Is it safe? Perfectly. It's colourless, odourless, well at least to us, <laughs> although it's highly flammable. <laughs> oh, you bastard! Is this Livingston a new guy? No. 30 years service. Tractor! I think he's after you! Oh! Get it round you! Michelle! Stop! Stop the bus, eh? This is for you! What's this? Late in Orient. Did I win? Twice in a month now. You're getting really good, is it? It's a football card, Peter. I'm just sticking my initials in a wee box. No, no, it's the way you play it. You know, you're thinking Hereford, no chance, won last week. Or, Gretna, they should even be on a football card. West Ham, rubbish. Is that it? Aye. Well, yes. Just to let you know, see the other tenor? Because it's no all profit. That's went to the committee. Good. Aye. You know, to buy the Wayne's boys and nets and strips and that. Peter. Are you alright? Me? Oh, aye, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. Just, you know, shooting the breeze. Do you want to ask me something? Oh, well, aye. It was just to let you know, see, on Friday, there's a relaunch of that curry karaoke place. Curry in the tin? Aye, the very same. I'm thinking I can do it for some scan and then maybe a wee, you know. I'm going with Tina. Oh, no, right, oh, right, good, great. Um, I'll just take the name off the list then. Yeah, if you'd ask me on Friday. Aye, 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 well, it's cool, there's a whole squad going. Oh well, maybe see you there then. Aye. Did you do, I mean, a lovely tender. Hey, hey. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Well, uh, oh, oh, maybe see you there then. Aye, maybe right. see you there. See you later then, Arcos. Walk on. All right. Not you. All right. Off you go, Peter. Coolio. <laughs> Sorry to hear about your wee accident, Mr Henderson. Aye. We were going to rush up when we heard, but we didn't want to put you out. <laughs> what happened to you anyway? You look like that guy for the war. Bin Laden? Nah. War for you way back. Genghis Khan? Aye, that's it. I think. You finished? Huh? Good. The jobs for today are as follows. Woody and Wallace, you're with me. I'll be taking you through the pheromone treatment. Eh? I'm not going to end up with a pair of tits, am I? Comes to it all. <laughs> no, that's hormones. We'll be dealing with pheromones. Pheromones? What about the fairy have to moan about? <laughs> the weather? Wages. You two and Michelle, whenever she shows up, you'll be going back to school. Will she be wearing a uniform? Hey you, wrap that. No can do, my friend. The rules state that being sexist or otherwise to a mate's bud is off limits only if they are in a state of courtship. How do you know we are in a state of courtship? Your locker's full of scud books. What are you doing in my locker? Replacing scud books. As I was saying, induction for the new history tours commences today. You'll have to be sharp and articulate. <laughs> that rules you two out then, didn't it? Aye, we're stuck with a moaning fairy. 
Like it? I'm gonna go back and get it finished with wee bunnies and I love that. That's my pubes have to be back. Aye, uh, Tina, it's, it's nice. Who's Deek? An ex. Used to sell leather jackets in the pub. Ended up with my ma. <laughs> so it's the latest view and Peter then? What do you mean? Well, is he still killing you with his kindness? <sighs> Wish I had somebody give me wee treats, no matter their hole in return. <laughs> Aye, he looks out for me and that, but I don't think there's anything in it. I mean, he doesn't even want to start seeing me again. Does he? I'm not sure, Michelle. But if I shag Peter for every favour he did you, I'd have a fanny like Jackie Stallone's mouth. <laughs> right, Tina, I'm off. See you later. See you later. Can I get you in now, sir? Spare set of keys for that front door and a roll and sausage while we discuss my fee. I hear you need a fire started. Aye. This place. It's too wee. I need to expand. I need bigger premises. Well, I'm not your bank manager, pet. I'm an arsonist. And a kidnapper. And a painter and decorator. Right. How much to touch this place? Well, I can get you a deal on some turps. So your overheads won't be much. Aye, it's really my time we're talking about. What time? Open the door, start fire, bolt. There's a lot more to it than that, pet. Planning, brecky, execution, which, by the way, I also do. So you stick the flipping the burgers, and I'll stick the torch and cuffs. When can you do it? It'll have to be tonight. But up with slashings and doings the rest of the week. What time? Don't concern yourself about time. Just slip us a set of keys and take to your bed like we never had this blather. Oh! I'll read. Don't worry. I can sort that for you. Like I say, your worries are over on that score. But I'm four pound a roll, and if the paper's got a pattern, it's a fiver. <laughs> I find it serves the memory best if one splits the statues into their constituent groups. War, medicine... Your system's flawed, mate. Pardon? Well, where would you put a statue of Florence Nightingale, eh? War, medicine? Well, she'd, uh, have to be cross-sectioned. So nothing set in stone. Precisely. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Our very own Florence Nightingale. That's another uniform I'd like to see her in. Shut up, you. Sorry I'm late, Mr. Toner. No excuse being offered? Argos? One word, Argos. You do realise that you have the most excessively erratic timekeeping of anyone in this department. Are you married? Me? Yes. Why? I just can't get my head around anybody listening to you who isn't getting paid for it. <laughs> this? Oh, it's the latest initiative from Toner Towers. We have to learn the names of a lot of long deed Victorians and then bore some Japanese tourists to the point of suicide. Harry Kari. Who? A Japanese parky. Man of great peace. <laughs> then Yokohama Wanderers bust his fixed odds coupon one week. <laughs> when you're quite finished. When he's finished, he'll let you know. Aye. Hey, there's no Woody and Wallace you're dealing with now, mate. You give the adults in this room a bit of respect, all right? I simply wanted to move things on. We move at our pace, no yours. You got that? Yes, of course. Well... Sorry. <laughs> Good. Right. Tea, Michelle? Sounds good. <laughs> Let me. You sure this is going to be safe, Mr. Henderson? How many Beatles gave me the heebies? Of course it's going to be safe. Get your asses up the tree and get started. Thank you. 
Why? I put plenty on. Why that stuff to work quick? Uh, Tetranol. Five. C. What is it? Forgot my gloves. There's the gloves. Cheers. Come on, up mm. you go, get started. Oh, seriously, two litres. What is it? Forgot my hard hat. Get a move on. God's <laughs> sake, we're here all day. <laughs> what is it? Forgot my hard hat. There's a hat. Mm. Right. Forgot my gloves. Get out! Hey, peanuts, you get monkeys. <laughs> Where were you? Up with me. That's your bucket. Don't know me. Forgot my spray gun. <laughs> So you can see how Victorian industrialists have shaped our beautiful city parks. And if you look very closely, you can see a dew shining his head. Go to old Glasgow. Come now, I will not tolerate such flowery language in front of a lady. <laughs> Michelle, you've got her all wrong, mate. She's got mere attitude than Oasis. Aye, before all the pishy albums. She can make some of the best of them. All right, Michelle. Do you mean you two arseholes, no problem? <sighs> Told you. See, don't be fooled. Her tongue's dirtier than the flare in our van. Be that as it may, I think we should move on from name calling and bear backing. <laughs> you mean backbiting? Yes. Then why did you use the term bear backing? I don't know what you mean. Neither they are. Bear backing, it's a term gay men use for having sex with each other. Is it? Is it really? Well, Miss Elliot, any more little gems like that from the lexicon of gay men, be sure to let us know. Comb over? More tea, anyone? Creepy, ain't they? They're in a hurry, tea. Aye, well, so should you be. We need to keep them contained. Gather them up. I'm not getting near them. They're crawling with all sorts. Put them in the bags. Bagging beetles now. This is minging. I'm going to need a shower when I get home. <laughs> you mean a bath? Now, we can expect a crowd of anything up to 30 people later on, so my crowd are here to make sure you're not phased. A styrofoam Ned and a spray-mounted granny. I'm shiting myself. OK, Peter, you're up first. Now, remember what I told you earlier, just be yourself. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our history tour of Kelvin Grove Park. <laughs> You sound like you're picking a coffin. On you go then. <clears throat> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian. I'm here to take you on the history tour this morning. Any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Big issue. Big issue? In my house? Oral sex. <laughs> I sincerely hope that wouldn't be your response in the field. Well, what would be an appropriate response to a cardboard drifter? Just stare him out until he folds. Ding! And the boy wins a coconut! Please try to stay focused. Now, Michelle. Can you tell me who that man is, dear? That is William Collins, madam. He was the Lord Provost and the leader of the temperance movement. And what did he publish? I don't really know, madam. Mr. Toner never told me. She doesn't really care, madam. None of us do. You see, we're here on the say-so of a crackpot in Tweed. I hear he's got to report an employee for disruptive behaviour. 
Well, I hear that the employee couldn't give you monkeys and he's a ball head half walking anyhow. I hear that's entirely his prerogative, but he's going to be reprimanded nonetheless. Well, I hear that... What am I doing? Arguing with a cardboard granny? I'll leave it, Brian. She's no worth it. No, it's him. Puppet master to prick. I'm not putting up with this. Get up, you. Oh, well, looks like someone knows it all. Doesn't want to hang around for fear he might actually learn something. Ah! <laughs> Sweetheart, you come with us. <laughs> Let the fat man take his flaky. <laughs> Look. Honestly, mate, I was trying to aim for Tashi when I did my back and everything. Found two in my scants. So what's the place you want to find them? I mean, I thought I was centipede in my denims one thing. Jeez, oh, what was it doing there? Don't know. What'd you do with it? Flung it out the window. <laughs> Tina, roll the sausage. That arsehole toner has got us talking to cardboard now. Well, at least you've not got ants in your pants. Oh, aye. How's that gone? It's murder. They're everywhere. Beatlemania, eh? Eh? Ach, you'll not mind it. Back in the day, the Beatles. The Fab Four, when all the women were chasing them. Beatlemania, they called it. I don't mind seeing that, man. A half day's night, wasn't it? All <laughs> mad birds screaming. That'd be cracking, wouldn't it? You fancy it? I'll sort it out for you. You're right. I'm no Johnny Depp, am I? Who? Pirates of the Caribbean, dude. Oh, aye. Oh, the eyes. Aye, oh, the eyes. <laughs> what? You've been spraying this all day. To attract the females, your tube. Stone up. <laughs> right, go and ask Tina for a can of ginger. Tina, I got a can of ginger. Aye. Stick a broom up, Mars, and I'll sweep the flare too. Anyway, come on. Come on. Move! Got a bus coming. We've got a taxi. I'm frothing here. My name's Henderson. I phoned this morning. Got a batch of beetles to be burnt. What's your name? Henderson. And what's to be burnt? Beetles. And how many? Eh? How many beetles? How would I know that? Go to have it on the docket. Well, I'm guessing 2,000. No, I'm not guessing. Well, <laughs> alright then. Just write doing 16 black bags. 16 black bags. And what's in them? Beetles! <laughs> and how many? Oh, for, for, look, give me somebody else to talk to. There it is. Hi there, Henderson, Beatles, 16 bags. Davy, lunch break. Piss off. <laughs> He's all your wings, Tina. First two are mine. The other ones came with the frames. <laughs> Sorry, Dara. That's a game. I 
I've never noticed your eyes before. I've never noticed your uh, face. What do you mean? Well, I've noticed it in that, but no, like, focus, that's it. I've never focused on you before. You like what you see? Aye. Oh, aye. You want to take this to the bedroom? Well, I need bother. No. You and me. Are you talking about... Riding. Eh. Uh, aye, right, okay. Need bother. You it? Eh? Are you the tour? One for the tour, eh? Uh, uh, no need, sir. The city fathers have seen to it that you will not be overburdened with fiscal excess. One for the tour? Right. Off we go then. If you would like to take the lead on Cameronian's War Memorial. It was built in... 1924. Um, to the glorious memory of all the ranks who upheld liberty and justice throughout the world. Friends, soldiers, that's why I came here. Were you...? Oh aye, I was there, son, aye. And earned a few medals too. But I gave them to my daughter. Well, my wife did, before she died. It's funny, you know, you think you'd forget, eh, after a time. You want to, but you don't. The faces, the noise, nothing so loud as war, son, oh, and the smells, oh, well, they were the days, eh? Do you want a cup of tea? Oh, hi. I'm making. Look at the state of Jackie Stallone's mouth. <laughs> okay, I'll date in the morning. Right, remember what I tell you? Oh, come here, you! You soon get sick of it, mate. Nineteen sixty eight, they disbanded the regiment. There were very few of us left then, and now, well, there's just one or two up at Erskine, and that's about it. But you've still got your family. Oh, there's no complaint about that. Huh? On a Friday, my daughter takes me to the salt market. We get a wee bit of fish and hear a few hoffs and most of the time I get pissed and the fish goes in the bin. Mm. <laughs> Where? Oh, uh, could you use your toilet? Straight back through there, past the lockers. Okay, thanks. Poor old bugger. Ah, it's shame. I like meeting the old timers though. Gives you perspective. What do you mean? Oh, well, there's us swatting the assholes, learning the names of lumps of granite and he kind of get the war out his mind. Yes, it shows the success of the History Tour initiative. Success? The man said it himself. Nobody gives a monkeys about that statue or what he did for his country. All we've done is remind him. Don't think I can take up any more of your time. I'd better be on my way. Not my one for the road. Oh, oh no, no. 
My daughter rings about five o'clock. I don't want to miss her. She's a terrible warrior. <laughs> oh, Andy, thanks very much for listening. You've made an old man very happy. See you. Bye. Bye. Well, that's knocking off time, do you know, think? Well, just about. I should tidy these cups away. No, I'll get them in a minute. You've been doing them all day. I think I'll ask Peter if he fancies a drink. One step at a time, eh? I mean, you're still the enemy to these guys. Well, not as much as Henderson, but in their eyes, you're still a... Bastards! Michelle, check your boss. <laughs> It's a lovely day, isn't it? Would you like to make a wee donation, eh? It's in the good cause. That's a great job you've done for us today. Park will see you another summer now. No problem. I once saved the trossacks from a pile of frogs. And the thing about that was... Aye, 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 that's plenty. You better check your scuddy draw, Mr Henderson. Been a theft for the both, eh? Eh? I did 40 quid going missing. Oh, Jesus, I'll let you get down there, right? You take these bags and dump them in a canal. Who's in them? The Beatles. How come I got all the good jobs? Just got on, mate. Oh, Hello there, boys. I'm on the scrounge on behalf of the Kiddies Hospice up at the Bray Park. We're only 4,000 off our new scanner, so whatever you've got, eh? That'll really scratch the inside of the tin, eh? Oh, I right. Move! Oh. <laughs> 